Hey crafters, I'm Daniela with DD's Art Workshop. If you like staying on a budget and DIYs, this channel is for you. For today's DIY, we will be making a llama wall art canvas and a llama planter. You can purchase most of your materials at Dollar Tree, and as always, I will list materials in the description below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And I wanted to share with you real quick where I purchased the accents on this display. The white book, the small white vase, and the adorable llama mirror were all purchased at Dollar Tree. And this little llama planter I found at Rue 21 for about $3. Okay, let's jump right in and let's get crafty. We will start by making our llama planter. You will need a 1 liter plastic bottle. Remove the label. Now with a permanent marker, I'm going to draw some little ears for my llama and I'll draw the shape of my planter. With a razor blade, I'm going to make a small slit so I can begin cutting with my scissors. I had washed my bottle earlier and it wasn't completely dry, so I'm going to do so now. My bottle was a little sticky from the label I removed, so I will use some Goo Gone to remove the stickiness and what's still left of the label. Now that our bottle is nice and clean, we can start painting. I'm using acrylic paint because this is what I had at home, but you can very well use spray paint. and blow dry for faster drying. Now this part is not necessary, but depending on how you will use your planter, I'm painting mine from the inside in case I ever use it for something else. Once your planter is dry, start drawing your llama with a pencil. If you mess up, a wet paper towel will erase. Here, I'm starting with the eyes, and I'm using a ruler to have an even space between them. Draw an oval for the nose. I will also be drawing some hair, eyelashes, and some rosy cheeks. We're ready to start painting our cute llama. And for extra protection, I always like to seal my work. You can use this varnish or a spray sealer. I chose to put a block foam inside of my planter, which I purchased at Dollar Tree, along with the rocks and succulents. If you wish to make this a planter for real plants, you can simply drill some holes at the bottom. Moving along to our second DIY, our Dollar Tree Llama Wall Art. 
We will begin with two 8x10 canvas. I purchased these at Dollar Tree. I'm reversing my canvas and for this I'm using a craft blade. Now you can remove the excess. And you can remove the staples with a staple remover. I only removed the ones that lifted up a bit, but you can do as you wish for this part. I'm now ready to paint, and the first color I will be using is powder pink. This is what I had at home, but you can use any acrylic paint for this part. The second color I'm using is oatmeal and chalk paint. Once dry, I'm ready to put together my canvas, and I'm simply going to glue together with my glue gun. I found these cute llama wall decals at Dollar Tree and I've seen them carry different ones and different designs. This is what I'll be using for my wall art. These wall decals are self-adhesive but I'm going to add some Mod Podge so it glues down better. You can also seal with Mod Podge once done for extra protection. To hang your artwork, you can hot glue a sawtooth hanger with a hot glue gun since these canvas aren't heavy. Or you can also use hanging strips that won't damage your wall. This project reminded me of the little saying, no prama llama, and of Jeremiah 17:7. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. So be a no drama llama and give it all to God, who can handle it way better than we can. And remember to spread kindness and stay crafty.